Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. First off, I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. I am so glad you are here. Knowing the spirit of giving, I have got something very, very special for you today. Because in this video, I'm going to share a detailed step by step guide on how to perform your own investment analysis. If you have watched my videos before, you know, I often analyze investment from the beginning of the year. If you look over here, you know, I started from January 2nd, same over here. Pretty much on all my videos, is start from there. And I can only do few yield max CTF or defined CTF. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you a step-by-step -step guide how to calculate performance for any time period, for any symbol, either it's a yield max CTF, it's a defined CTF, or Charles Schwab, or any other stock that pays dividend, right? So in a matter of minutes, you will have the tools to do this on your own. And those are all, you don't need any special software. Those are just a free website tool like Google and Yahoo. You can do it in just a minute. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's dive right. But before I move into the video, just one request. Please share, subscribe, like, comment. You know, my goal was to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month, November. It's just a one day left, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm almost pretty close to it. So if you can please help me reach my goal, that will be much appreciated. One more thing. I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm not going to advise you anything, what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. That's your decision. All I'm doing is I'm providing you the detailed mathematical analysis and you make that decision. So all right, without wasting too much of time, let's get started. So here's what we're going to do is let's go to the, let's go to Google. All right. So what are we going to do is let's open a X, Google sheet, right? Go to Google. Here's the sheet. This is the free, right? You don't need to pay for anything. You go to Google, you open the sheet, right? No. What are we going to do over here is that, so let me just do one thing over here. So what I'm going to do, I have this, right? So here's what we're going to do. Take a look at, right? So, okay, this is just okay. What do we need? You need symbol, right? Whatever you're investing in. Either NVIDIA, Misty. Let me make it a little bit bigger. It's easy to see. It, Either is NVIDIA, MISTI, MZ, Charles Schwab, whatever you have that you need a symbol. There's only three pieces of information you need. The rest of them will be the calculation. And I will show you how to do it very simple in three. As a matter of fact, I will also upload this sheet in the description. So those of you who don't want to spend time cal calculating, you can just plug in the number and it will provide you the information. Okay. What the first piece of info you need? Purchase price, right? Purchase price and the price sold. And since we're talking about dividend, right? Yield max ETF defines whatever it is, dividend, right? So dividend. Well, let's just put our abbreviations easy to see. So let's do this. I'm gonna wrap make it easy to look around. So, so let's purchase price, price sold and dividend, right? And no. Make, let's make it, okay. All right. So let's start with some dollar value, right? Dollar invested, I-N-V-E-S, dollar invested. Let's suppose we invested $5,000. I'm gonna start with an example, then we'll come to the actual. Let's take, suppose it's symbol A, B, C, D. We buy it at $20, we sold it at 18 and we earned $4 in dividend, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these three in yellow over here. What that means is this is the only three piece of information you need, right? This is all you need. Everything else will be calculated for you in a very simple norm. So these threes are actually do dollar value, right? I mean, the column and everything is dollars. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. So since we invested $5,000, so what happened? We invested 
and we purchased it at $20 each. That means with $5,000 invested, we bought 250, right? That's a 250 share of ABCD, right? No, I'll, I'll come to that actually in a second. Just let's say it's that. No. So what does that mean? What is the value, today value, right? Today value or, the, or, or you know, the sold, sold price, right? Sold price. Let's suppose that means the sold price is $18 and you have 250 of those. I mean, the value of that sold value price was 4500 dollar right now five thousand dollar was invested and based on the today value or the price you sold it that was forty five hundred dollars now you are also earning dividend on that right so each one of them you're getting four dollar dividend right so total dividend earned is number of share you have and total number of did that thousand dollar what that that means is right total value total value is dividend you earn plus sold price fifty five hundred dollar what that that means is gain loss right that means is five thousand dollar in so total value today is this one and the five thousand dollar was invested in this so you gained five hundred dollars right percent gain five hundred dollar divided by since this is in the percentage so let's put this into the percentage value right now what does that mean okay so you see this Okay, sold price this. All right, so this is the sold price this one, total on this one, this, this, and then this. All right, so what are we looking over here? Let me just take a look. So what we're seeing is, okay, if you have this three piece of information, purchase price, price sold, and dividend earned. Just three pieces of information, you can calculate the performance of any of these yield max ETF, defense ETF, charge shop, anything for any time period. You don't need to do com complicated calculation. I'll do it for you. Now, here's what you're going to do over here. So, let's do this more. Thing. Let's do this, right? Here's what I'm going to do. Let's do the conditional formatting. If I have a gain, right? It, let's say it's greater than zero. I want it to show up as a green if i have is less than zero i want to show you that that right right so let's suppose instead of that if, if i would have make red you see that okay so if it's gain is going to show up as green if it's loss is going to show up as red good now with that let's so now it's clear, right? So here's what you need. actually you need to know how much you're investing it. So all we need is this four piece of information and we will be able to calculate it. So let's do the real demonstration. Here's what I'm going to do. The Google spreadsheet, you created this. Now here we go to the Yahoo. Yahoo.com. Right? Go to finance over here. Let's pick any symbol. Let's pick, start with NVDY, right? NVD. You get this. You see this advanced chart over here? You just click on that. It's going to expand it for you. Yeah, right? Now, what you need to do, you need to go to this corporate event. Click on dividend over here. And you see that? It starts showing you dividend. Now, dividend and for this one dividend on this one so you can actually look at the dividend on right now let's take an example over here so let's, let's actually let me do this let's suppose actually let me do this i am going to do this. Let, let's suppose here right 
let's suppose you purchase it over purchase you purchase it over here you sold it over uh, so right so you purchase it over here you sold it over here right now in between you see there's only one dividend was paid right two dollars six two two so let's take a let me do this so why don't I go over here? Let me split the screen it so we can see both at one time this and this right now. Let's so as okay. Let's let's take a look at it. Okay, we're looking at N B D Y right now. Let's take a look at it. Purchase price. We purchase at what? Twenty five twenty six right. We put twenty five twenty six, and what we sold it over here. It's not okay, it's not helping over here. Let's, let's I mean, it's sold at 30 30 30 30. And what the dividend I earned over here, this one, right? Two dollars 62 cents, two point two point six two two. Right? That, that's all, that's all we need. And the rest of them, you will get calculated. Let's pick another one and I'll show you how I can get. Let's suppose instead of buying it over here. Instead of buying it over here, you sold it over here, right? So you sold it over here, right? Here, let's uh, sold, right? Okay, you bought here at the price purchase price was uh, twenty four forty five, right? Let's twenty four point two five. I'm just looking at the NVDY two, right? I mean, that's you know, just 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 for the heck of it. You, you, you sold it over here, which is uh, 3046, 0.46. Now, what happened here? So you bought it over here, you sold over here, right? That means, you mean one, two point, you see the dividend here, two point, you earned it one, two, three, four, right? You take a 250, two, uh, 350, uh, four, six, and then, Eight six. Let's suppose you on a dividend of eight point seven two. You can do your own calculation, right? That's all you need. Three piece of information, and I'll show you in a second how I could. <laughs> Let me just pick one more thing. Let's do MSTY, right? Okay, I don't need this one. Misty, right? Let's suppose you bought it over here. You bought it over here, right? The the price. You would this price is 20, 22 point eight nine. MSTY. And you, you, you sold it over here, which is a 34.44, 34.44, and you earn one dividend here, right? I mean, 4.129, 4.1, 1, 2, and that's it. That's all you need. You can pick any symbol. Let's say you do MZ, right? I mean, say you can look over here and then whatever you want, or you, you have defined it MSTX, right? Any one of them, you can just, you go to the corporate event, you look deep in right? So any one of them you want, you can just pick it up, right? So let's go back to this. Uh, okay, let, let me just remove this spread thing just so I can. Okay, spread screen. Oh, oh, no, let's say I'm going to go over here. All right, you see all this? We picked it up, right? One, two, three, four. No, you don't need to do anything. All you do is just a formula over here, right? So let's pick this up. You see that? So you pick any symbol you want to, any time period you want to. All you need to do is just enter these three pieces of information. The one I highlighted in, in yellow. The purchase price, price sold, and dividend, and everything else. So you will know exactly that. Let's suppose you're thinking about it. What would have happened if I would have bought it from this time period? You know, you're going to say, let's, let's take an example. You're going to say, hey, what would happen if I bought it over here, sold it over here, would I make money or was it a good decision or should I, you know, repeat the same thing? You can just pick any time frame. It's all Google, right? You just on Yahoo, it's all free. You can just try it out, right? You just go to the chat, look at that, corporate event, dividend, it will show you all that. You don't need to go from screen to screen, do all those complicated things, just simple, right? And into that, let's suppose if I'm losing money over it. Let, let, let's suppose if this is one zero. You see this? If losing it will become automatically red, right? 34. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll hope to see you soon with some other video. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'm glad you're a part of my community. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.